What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're going over the UEFI BIOS on the EVGA X99 Micro motherboard. Now this BIOS will be pretty much the same across all of EVGA's X99 line. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out here. So the first thing that we have is we have some little uh, indication on certain things in the PC. So over here we have our memory and this specific motherboard has four memory slots and it will actually show you how many gigabytes are in each slot here, um, eight in each one of our four slots. Of course it lets us know we have a total of 32 gigabytes of memory in the speed that that memory is running at. Down here we have our voltages, so we have our CPU voltage in real time as well as our memory voltage in real time. In the center here it lets us know that we, you know, what our CPU multiplier is and our BCLK frequency. We have all that right here. Also lets us know we do have our eight cores and hyper threading is turned on. Over here we have our indication for PCI Express slots. So you can see we have one, two, three slots here and we only have one graphics card installed but it is running at PCI Express 3.0 at X16 speeds. Down here we have our temperature and we can see that our VRM is at 32 degrees Celsius and our CPU is at 35 degrees Celsius. Now the main tab when you go into the BIOS will be this overclock tab up here and this is everything to, to do with overclocking. Your frequencies and your voltages and your ratios, all of that will be right here. Um, and it does give you your target CPU frequency so if you're overclocking or something it's going to give you that target so you know what you're going to be shooting for. Also, one thing I did want to mention about the BIOS is that you can use both the keyboard and the mouse however you like. Um, you can scroll as well as you can see which I'm doing. And actually, when you scroll over a specific setting, this will actually tell you over here what that setting is all about. So if you're not sure what it does or not sure what the different settings do, you can actually go over here and read about it. So we're going to go over into the memory tab here. And here, of course, you're going to see all of your memory information and settings. Now, if, if your memory supports an XMP profile, you can set it here. You can set your voltages and you can see your timing information and, and all of that stuff on your memory. Now advanced tab is where you're going to find all the configuration for your CPU, PCI Express, PCH, SATA, USB, power management, onboard device configuration, and hardware monitor. Uh, now this, these are pretty much the same across all different motherboards. I'm not going to go into each one, but I did want to show you the hardware monitor. So if we go into here, we can actually see our four temperatures. We have our CPU die temperature, our CPU temperature, PWM temperature, and system temperature. And then we can see our CPU fan speeds in real time. And you can actually set them to um, different modes if you like. Um, you know, you can set them to max, you can set it to smart. However you'd like to do it, you can go ahead and set your fans, which I do like. And then our voltages down here, we can see our voltages in real time and you can also change those values how you see fit. And you can actually see your voltages for your power supply as well, which is actually pretty cool. And then if we go over into boot here, we can see um, all of your boot information, your boot device priority, as you can see. You can actually turn when the when the actual motherboard turns on, it does make a beep. You can actually turn that off um, and you can set up quiet boot and fast boot and all of that stuff as well as system time and date, all that stuff that you would want to set up. And then under save and exit, one thing that is in this menu is your boot override. So say I want to boot once from a flash drive, maybe I want to boot into Linux or something just one time. I can actually go into my BIOS and select that device once and it's going to boot from that device and then the next time I restart it's going to go back to my normal device priorities. And then you can load profile and, say, and save your profile and you can also also um, update your BIOS from a flash drive which is pretty easy. You just put your flash drive in, you hit, click select BIOS file and it will bring up your flash drive and you can select your file and instantly upgrade your BIOS which is actually extremely easy to do. And then that is pretty much it. This BIOS works really well. Everything is to the point. Um, it didn't hang or it didn't have any any times where the BIOS crashed or anything like that. Everything is extremely easy to find. I couldn't, there wasn't an, an option that I really couldn't find here in the BIOS. Now if you're not used to it, it takes a little bit to get used to, but just like any BIOS, after you go into a few times, you know where everything's at and it's very easy to use. So this has been our quick overview of the EVGA UEFI BIOS on their X99 Micro motherboard. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.